Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the one, the only, the Mr. The Missing Go. Did I just butcher your name up? Missing No. Yeah. Hi. Hello there. Yeah, I'm still learning everyone's names and how to pronounce them. Okay, so we are here at his university, which is one of the most beautiful things that I have seen on the server so far. And I thought, hey, why don't we go ahead and get a tour and see what he has to say about the place. Now, we just spoke briefly off camera that it's been some time since he's taken a axe and pickaxe and got his build on. But he at least would be able to provide some intel as to the building process and give you guys, the viewers, some building tips. So I'll let you take it away, dude. Okay, so um, this is this is the first building that I made in this build and um, as I was building it I I was just kind of deciding like the scope of this build I didn't realize all those other buildings were gonna be around but as I was building it I kind of decided that's what it was gonna be so it's kind of um, based off of so this is like the main building of the university the whole build is is the Minecraft University and this is like um, so this is like supposed to be the, the original building. So I went to Penn State and we have a building called Old Main, which is like the original building of the university and like where everybody used to go. And that's kind of what this is based on. But nowadays it's like mostly just offices and administrative stuff. So that's kind of reflected with uh, the interior. There's still some like classrooms, but uh, it's mostly like offices and stuff. So, um, the basic design for this is, like, two, like, two wings on the side, and, right. um, and, like, a, uh, a dome in the middle, and that's, that's pretty much the idea I was going with, and a big, like, grand entrance in the front and the back. Very eye-catching when you first walk in here, and you look up, and you're not sure if that's a second floor, but then eventually you'll find the stairwell that leads up there and yeah. such. Yeah, um, interiors are not like my strong suit. It could definitely look nicer in here than it does, but um, yeah, I definitely my build style is like, I don't really think about the interior when I'm building. I just try to make a building that looks good from the outside. But then I try to, sometimes I try to um, fix up the inside a little bit. And, this one was one of my like efforts. Like up here, we have like a library, and on the other side, there's um, like the office of the dean and like the vice dean. So there's at least something in this one. Now, my one quick little question that I have is on this back wall right here. Uh huh. What's with the birch and then the sign that says what's going on here? Right, so uh, <laughs> somebody let a great birch float up there. Oh. And prepared it with this birch, and I just have not fixed it. Okay, then. I, 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 I saw that, and I was like, is that a prank? Is that a uh, part of the lore for this building? or? But a simple uh, creeper explosion. Okay, typical yeah. Minecraft thing. Yep, just haven't fixed it. Okay, then. So here's Dean Yeb and Vice Dean Dinnerbone. Fitting oh. for Minecraft. I, w I wouldn't, I couldn't think of anyone else, or I can't think of anyone else that should be the Dean and Vice Dean here in Minecraft for the university. Yeah. Now, okay, so just a real quick question. Is this a globe that you have in the Dean's office? Yes, it is. Absolutely beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. It's because I saw this and I'm like, okay, what is it? But then I noticed like that's a metal pole or something that a globe would sit on. And usually players would probably just take a fence post and put it there. But it's the brewing stand does a more excellent job acting as the stand for it. And here we are at the big brick not house and this is actually we just spoke about this off camera this is the school of buildings yep alrighty so this is the next 
uh, stop on our little tour here. So what's up with this building here? What's the story behind it? Okay, so first of all, like, it's the school of building. Like, when I, when I made all these, my idea was, like, that each one would be the school of a different thing having to do with Minecraft. So, like, building, PvP, um, map making, and something else. I don't remember. But, um, so this was the school of building, and this was the second one that I built after I built the main building. Right. And... The basic idea behind the structure is like um, there's like this middle part connecting the side to and the left is like um, a big you know three like there's three sections and it's kind of like square and the right is a tower and the middle part just connects it so that's like just the idea behind the structure usually I, I when I do things like this I just kind of uh, take a few different like um, big shapes and just connect them together and it usually works out so that's something that i struggle with doing but i'm i'd like to think with practice comes progress taking big shapes and then just connecting them yes yeah that does and um also like with a big with a big thing like this separating it into smaller like cells so for example this uh, the left part is separated into three different cells. So then once you separate that, you have the smaller kind of canvas to work with. And you can, like, come up with, like, what you want to build in there. And then just repeat it three times. And you come up with something that uh, hopefully looks de decent and it looks detailed. So that's kind of a... Um, and it also makes sense because between each cell you have support structure and if something looks like it's real, looks like it's supported and it would stand up in real life, then it's going to be, it's going to make sense to the eye and it's going to hopefully look good. So up here is just a big lecture hall. Oh! oh. Just, oh, I sound, oh. Sorry. it's all good. I'm just going to quickly run out of there real yeah. quick. I. As soon as I saw the first arrow fly across the screen, I was thinking, this is not going to be good. Okay, I guess <clears> there's <throat> not enough lighting in here. There used to be a lot. I think at some point an update came around and changed the lighting that they can spawn at. That we'll just go right. with that. I like this little, this touch of like, you have your seating area all over here, and then you have the trap doors acting as your little desks. This is nice, and like for my the resource pack that I'm using, like the trap doors have the, they have a, uh, a spruce door texture to them, so at least the way I'm looking at it, it looks even more like a wooden desk that you would just slide into, and take your notes on. Yeah, I'll I'll check that out when uh, the video comes. But it's also like they're trap doors, so they can come down. So it's kind of like the desks. In real life, the uh, the desks fold up sometimes. Oh, oh! I didn't even think of that, but yeah. Wow. Oh, I got a bone in my hand. Let's just quickly throw that there. Okay. And then I I presume like this is where you would just have your. Is this going to be a chalkboard or a screen that you pull down to have a projector project stuff onto? Chalkboard. Old school. All right, there's no other better school than old school, as I like to say. <laughs> All right, but this little entrance room right here, like having it very spacious, but you have the carpet design, you have this little reception area, I guess you, you could call this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like, even though, like I said, it's all spacious, it just, it works. It looks fairly easy, but pleasing to the eye, at least, you know, these eyes. Uh, so what do we have over here? We have a stairwell. Yep, so, um, there's, like, group study rooms up here, and the stairs go up to the second floor with a bunch of, uh, classrooms and stuff. So these are, um, these are just drafting studios, so, like, Come in and like write down, like uh, draw pictures on these desks, like draw, you know, architecture type of stuff. Yeah. Cool building. 
And then up here is like building labs, I guess. This is where you uh, build miniature versions of what you drafted. Yeah, yeah. Let's go up there. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's, um, and then I just built this because I wanted to, I think this was from when I was working on the building across the street, so I could uh, come out and get a good look at it as I was building it. I see. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much the second building. Alrighty then, real quick, I noticed that there was a sign that said, uh, where is it at? I just passed it down here. There's a sign that says Professor B Dubs and then Professor oh, yeah. Beef. Is that by chance vintage beef for this professor here? Yep, and B double O. And then, uh, <laughs> also, more if we go up the uh, final flight of stairs, there's a mini library. And then if we go up here. Ooh. So this is the main. Uh, the leader of the, of the school of building, okay. Professor Arcus. I was wondering how you pronounce that. I wasn't sure if you if that was a typo in spelling Arkansas or uh, Arkansas. Like, just miss a few letters in the word or whatever, no big deal. Just your typical type of typo. So this is the next building. It's the, um, I guess this one was the school of uh, map making, I think, and also supposed to be like student housing. And this building's a little bit bigger than all the other ones. And when I was building it, I kind of didn't realize how big it was until like I had already built the skeleton, and then I was like, oh my god, like this is too much. <laughs> but then over time, I just kind of worked on it piece by piece, and it got done. I just gotta say, since you said that this is also sort of like a housing building, uh -huh. whoever lives here must be like top of the bill when it comes to their uh, the student hierarchy system. If we take a peek inside of here, oh, the interior design is amazing. Nice furnishing. We got a crafting chest table and a double chest. Yep. Need anything else, dare I say? <laughs> yeah. So there's, there's a story behind, uh, the, well, the lack of interior behind this. There's some signs that say like reception area, question mark, question mark, question mark. So <laughs> I, um, I, um, I guess hired somebody to, uh, a friend to help me with the interior to this. Right. But, uh, and he did a little bit, but then he kind of didn't, and then I didn't. So now it just doesn't have any interior. <laughs> and it's, it's just so big, like, it's, it's too much of a... <laughs> It's too big of a project for like anybody to do, so. It's an overwhelming it's just, project itself. Yeah, so like here and there, there's some like interior stuff, but overall there's no like uh, main interior. I totally get that, I totally get that. So, um, I guess uh, the structure of this is kind of similar to the school of building it's like a big box on one side and then a connecting piece and then a big tower but it's just much bigger so uh it took a lot longer and it's the same story with the construction if we look at it from the outside again it's just um i took a big project separated it into little cells and did each cell like designed each cell separately and then repeated. The, so. I, I, I was just thinking how on the floor just beneath, on the second floor I guess, it says on this sign, fountain maybe. And uh, I was just thinking like a fountain on the second floor. I'm trying to picture that in real life, but at the same time, you know, I guess it's yeah. doable. But then right here when I saw this sign, chandelier, and I'm looking up and I see the sign next to it, lies. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yep. I mean, creating a chandelier for this room itself, that's 
I would just try and outsource that job to someone and I can see it not getting done at all. Yeah, that's, I mean, this is, so chandeliers in Minecraft are, are tough. Oh, yes. Because, like, they never really end up looking right, but if you have a huge amount of space like this, then I think you can have, you can make them that much decent. You can have, like, some really over-the-top fancy ballroom chandelier. Yeah. One that would make, uh, the one on the Titanic look like it should be underwater. Yeah, wish it is now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Totally had that joke planned. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Cheesy self congrats college messages. Uh huh. Okay then. <laughs> yeah, this this is all. Uh, this is all my uh, my friend who was gonna build the interior, put up all these signs for what he was gonna eventually build, but never got around to doing it. What I'm gathering so far from this is like, like, and this is for the viewers now, like, if you're, if you're tackling a huge project or a huge build, such as the structure that we're standing in right now, it doesn't hurt to just leave the rooms vacant and then, like, place down a small little sign with what you're thinking of what you want to place in it down the road. Or if you're on a server, then get one of your server mates to do it and hope that they get to it eventually. Yeah, I mean, it, I guess it depends what your priorities are. Like, in my case, I just want, like, a building that looks good from the outside. If you want a building with a nice interior, then you should, like, uh, I guess plan that when you're planning the build. Like, uh, plan the interior. Like, in architecture, the interior is even, like, more important than the exterior. So, architects like mostly focus on what the inside's gonna look like and then kind of build the outside around that. I kind of cheat and so I just want a good looking building, so. It's like what they say, beauty is in, beauty comes from within. Don't worry about the beauty on the outside. And that is, if, if, that, if, that, if that's how you go about your ways and such. That results may vary, uh, opinions, pending, whatever. Uh, I do the opposite, beauty is on the outside. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm told. I was just thinking the same thing. How I'm more of a person where it's like I, I tend to focus on okay, what's it gonna look like from this angle? What's it gonna look like from this perspective? What's it gonna look like from afar? As opposed to like what how it looks on the inside. Pff, I'll get to that when I do. Moving on now to these three buildings because we spoke about them briefly off camera. How okay. they look pretty nice on the outside. Well, pretty nice would be an understatement. They look awfully beautiful, there we go, from the outside. But on the inside, well, let's just take a step in. Yeah, just open space on the inside. <laughs> I gotta say, this actually looks like an open basketball court. Like, right over here, you could have seating and then, like, little food venues or whatever you would have in a sports complex. But then right down here, you just have... There's a skeleton! Ooh, yeah, let's <laughs> but, like, wow. right where we're at, this would be, like, the court and everything. Yeah, um, this is technically supposed to be the school of Redstone. Oh, Redstone, oh, wow. sports, same thing, pretty much. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this, I mean, this is just, this interior, this huge open space is just, like, way too overwhelming to, uh, for me, anyway, to work on an interior. In this ceiling, I noticed that you have, like, going against, we'll call this the back wall, you have two in height diorite bricks going across, but then there's an opening. Is that intentional, or is that just forgot to do it, or didn't get a chance to finish it and forgot about it? Yeah, forgot to do it, didn't do it, you know. Okay, then. Yeah, notice it from the outside, so. Yeah. It, it was just like, as soon as I started to look up, I was like, wait a minute, there's an opening right there. That ain't no glass block or whatever. So this one um, is the school of PvP. And um, so this one, it's supposed to be like a mini arena in here. So if you come inside, there's like a big... Whoa. Kind of sand thing there. Whoa. And that's to be like uh, an arena to practice your PvP stuff. So this is like straight up open field, grab a sword or axe and a shield and then just yep. go crazy. Go at it. 
kill each other. <laughs> it's like what uh, I say for rugby, blood is only red sweat, so if you have a little of that, then you're doing something right. The last three, I kind of was just kind of trying to finish the build, so that's why they don't have as many interiors. I was like, I want my universe to be, I want my university to be finished. I want to post pictures of it on Reddit. <laughs> totally understandable. I totally get that. Yeah. So, um, but the library does kind of have an interior because it's a library, so I know what to put in here. Books. What does this sign say? Biblioteca. Yeah. Uh, it means the library. Okay then. <laughs> Uh, oh, and there's a nether portal right there. Oh, this is where we came from when when we were in the nether earlier. Yep. Okay, then. Yep. Wow. So this is the library. Books. Books in here. More books. Lots of bookshelves. Holy happy chocolate ice cream emoji. <laughs> wow. I've, in all my days... I almost want to ask, do you need any more books? Like, do you have enough knowledge in this library? Could you use any more? <laughs> uh, I think all the books are blank. So. Okay. Oh, so there's just, still, that's an incredible number of blank books then. <laughs> <laughs> this sheep is, uh, he's trying to pick out a book, but little does he know he ain't going to be able to read it. Not that he can't read, it's just there's nothing for him to read. Yeah, they're all blank pages. He can pretend to read, He's, he can pretend to be an intellectual sheep. Yes. But he's not fooling anybody. <laughs> we, we, we know he's know, just looking at blank books. We know the truth. And then this there's this... The <laughs> so now, the second floor that we have here, this is just access to more books pretty much there's no like other room or secret compartment that these ladders would lead up to or anything no nope, the ladders are just to reach the books that are high up okay then and then where we're at it's pretty much the same thing for the second floor on the other side yep it's uh symmetrical on each side that's one thing that i'm trying to sort of break away from is creating symmetrical builds. I'm trying to get into asymmetrical builds, but it ain't working out too good between you and I and the viewers here, so. Uh, Fair enough. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so this this build, the library, and also the first building are both symmetrical because like- Oh! That's, that's what works with, you know, the situation because they're both in the middle. Oh! Uh, Oh, hold on a second. I'm gonna run all the way back down here, but now that you mention that, oh, 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 geez, I'm going down ladder. Not good. Careful. <laughs> I'm still in F1 mode, so I was like, oh no, where am I going? Don't hit the space bar while going down. Oh, but now that you mention it, they are pretty much symmetrical. Yep, they're both in the middle. I mean, like, you have the dome in the center, you have the two wings, on, one on the left, one on the right. Yep. And then, wow, I didn't even notice that until just now. Very interesting. Now... So they kind of, like, cap off the university on each side. So, there's just one more question that I have, and that is, I've noticed on a few of the roofs here, it would appear as if someone played a game of tic-tac-toe. Yep. That would be uh, HK and KR. Okay, so that wasn't something that you just did to, no. to like, sign off your builds here. Like, I'm done, I'm done, here's my little signature, here's my stamp of approval. It's a game of tic-tac-toe. Nope, no, that was just a, uh, a little prank. Okay, no, then. <laughs> I think that that was the very first thing that caught my attention when I first got on the server and was just flying around. It was like, aside from seeing the village, I was like, wait a minute, is that tic-tac-toe? But, uh... Yeah, before flying came around, like, no one ever really looked at the top of these buildings. But, like, now that you can fly, the tops are visible, so... Man... Yes. 
Well then, that's, I guess we can call that a tour. I mean, if I had to uh, pick a Minecraft university to attend, I guess this would be the one. It seems like you got to school for all your essential and basic needs for Minecraft. How to survive, how to build, redstone, so on and so forth. Yep. So yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks for coming and letting me talk about the university and showing it off to your viewers. Yeah, thank you for the tour, man. I mean, I, I didn't want to just come here, record, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. I was like, you know what, let's just get it a, uh, let's get the guy who created all of this to just come on board real quick, speak, say a few words, form a sentence or two, maybe a paragraph, and see what comes of it.